Hi, and first and foremost, I would like to thank you for joining us on the very first network Q&A session. That said, we plan to have more just like this one in the near future. We have lined up a variety of questions put together by us personally and a few collected by the community in the form of responses on Facebook, Twitter, IndieDB, to our recent posts with regards to the Q&A event. So let's start off with general questions. No better place to start than there. Uh, these general questions were created by us, so keep that in mind. So let's start off with the most obvious question. What is network? Well, I may as well give you a brief teaser into what it is. Network is an upcoming free-to-play first-person shooter game developed by Extreme Tech set in its own unique futuristic sci-fi world. The game focuses on tight combat, a dense atmosphere, and high quality visual fidelity. The game is strictly multiplayer only, meaning maximum quality of the game in the multiplayer regard, bringing you pure multiplayer dedication and brilliance. Network has its own unique game modes, classes and ranking systems filled with persistent options to enhance your character with new gear, items and personalization options. Whether playing as the nimble scout class or the beefy tank class, Network strives to deliver gameplay and visual slash graphical fidelity on a level with uh, immersion that most free-to-play FPS games cannot match. So, free to play, that's a pretty good question. That is right. Players will have the ability to pick up the game without paying a single penny, allowing them to try out the game immediately and dive straight into the action. Keep in mind the game will feature an in-game marketplace in which uh, players will be able uh, sorry, in which players will be able to purchase in-game items ranging from weapons, visual upgrades, crates, social options to multipliers, all of which can be uh, can be purchased with both the in uh, standard in-game currency which you earn from playing, or with the monetized currency, allowing us to keep a balance between non-playing and paying members and push out that pr uh, pay-to-win stereotype. So, target platform. Primarily we're focusing on just the PC platform, specifically Steam, allowing us to utilize all of the functionality that Steam provides as a whole and with the engine which we are using. We don't necessarily have plans for other platforms yet, however, providing the game is successful, it is definitely a possibility and is more than feasible. When can consumers play? Well, that's a really good question. We plan for an initial release of Network in late 2013, specifically quarter three, quarter four. However, we do plan for a closed alpha in the next few months with a possible open beta shortly after, which will most likely be tied with our crowdfunding pitch, but more on that later. We don't necessarily have a confirmed date, however it's definitely going to depend on the progression of our team and definitely looks feasible uh, from what I can see thus far. What kind of maps slash levels can we expect to see? We have a wide array of different maps in both development and planned for release and ranging from a space station orbiting above Earth, urban cities to exotic submerged laboratories and underwater mountains or partially destroyed subways, all of which vary in size, big, small, medium sized theme and flow, and most importantly also retain our consistent, unique network theme. Well, what makes Network unique and stand out from other FPS titles? Well, Network has a whole variety of things which sets it apart from other games, and generally makes it stand out ranging from our unique art style, immersive environments, unique game modes, unique game mechanics, and completely unique and unorthodox weapon systems, all and more, all in aid of creating a truly unique and immersive FPS experience. What sort of development team is behind the game? Well, Network has a relatively small team behind it, but large at the same time in comparison to other indie hobbyist teams. We have a team of roughly 20 individuals who all strive to create the best 
content possible and are working hard on bringing our concept to life, ready for everyone to play and generally get their grubby myths on. Keep in mind we're always looking for new recruits to join our team. Having said that, if you're a fellow game developer and interested in joining our well-experienced team, uh, then feel free to check out the available positions and more information on our website at extremetech.co.uk, which I have left a link to in the description. So, uh, the last question of the general questions section. Where can we find out more? Uh, we have a whole bunch of different websites and social network pages which you can get more information in regards to our game including our website, Facebook, Twitter, IndieDB, which I provided links for in the description. The next series of questions were collected from the community on our various social media pages. So, let's begin. Community questions. Uh, when can we expect to see more in? in uh, when can we expect to see more in-game footage? As you know, our recent rebranding uh, required us to redo gen slash generally polish a whole bunch of content which we have created previously, which has kind of pulled us behind. That said, we'll be releasing a reiterated and polished and quite frankly sexy version of the previous space station trailer shortly alongside a bunch of other environment teasers for other levels meet the developer sessions a progress update series and a teaser trailer on the build up to a closed slash open beta why did you rebrand the game it's also a very very good question somewhat irrelevant as a couple of weeks ago as uh, a couple of months ago but significant nonetheless many of you will already know we have rebranded our game previously known as time lost a few months back to network in aid of our general overhaul slash quality rise and showcasing primarily our new higher quality work since the start of the game development quality has been gradually rising with uh, with significant changes from start to what we have now whether it be from uh, new members with higher skill levels new technology being made available uh, and having said that we have completely overhauled the game reiterating on previously seen low quality content whether it's concepts environments or characters or weapons replacing them with new higher quality content not only has the quality of the game changed we have also changed the overall premise and storyline of the game which is where our name is derived from however you'll have to wait to get uh, you'll have to wait to get your grubby mitts on the game to find out about that so what game modes can we expect to see inside of Network? Well, we have quite a variety of game modes, some of which are completely unique, with 12 planned to release with Network on launch, and more to come shortly after. Uh, we will have all your commonly known, favor, commonly known favorites, such as Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, and so on and so forth, alongside those that are completely unique to Network, and designed by us, such as our level linking mode, our survival mode, our bounty mode, and many, many more. Okay, so let's move on to the last few questions. What game engine is being used for the game and why? We are utilizing the power of Unreal Engine 3 for network due to its vast graphical capability, ease of use, networking, Steam integration, and overall functionality allowing us to create the game quickly, efficiently, and with the functionality and graphical quality that gamers love and expect. So, last question. Do we still plan for a crowdfunding campaign as previously mentioned? We do still plan to have a crowdfunding campaign in the form of a Kickstarter pitch. However, we've delayed it quite significantly due to the game's rebranding and we've been waiting to make sure we have as much as much quali uh, polished content as possible alongside a public preview which can be offered as a reward for pledging. Uh, we started to plan for uh, Kickstarter not that long ago and hopefully it should go live within the next few months ready for participating. So lastly I'd like to thank you for listening to the very first Network Q&A session and keep in mind there is more to come and don't forget to tune in for more upcoming Network related content shortly. Thanks for uh, watching and don't forget to check, uh, check out our various pages.